Knowing that God is in control and is in charge of the business is always very comforting. Um, there was a property we went to buy in Stanley Street and we could afford £60,000 for it. And the owner managed to sell it for £75,000. So we felt, well, perhaps Lord, you don't want us to have this one. It was four bed sits and a flat. And it suited us down to the ground as we were coming to the end of housing people that were under the pier. And then just about a month before the 31st of March, which was the end of the financial year, he came to us and said, the deal's fallen through, you can have it for £60,000. Now we'd already been to the bank and the bank had said it was quite willing to lend us the money. So off we went and we said, that's not a problem, we'll get it sorted straight away and we'll be able to complete the deal before the 31st of March and you won't have to pay the capital gains tax on it you thought you would. And so off we went and went to the bank. The bank said it was fine. And then suddenly, just a week before we were due to complete, the bank phoned us up and said, we didn't realize it was bedsits. We don't lend money against bedsits. Well, you can imagine the panic we were in. We'd agreed. And to me, my word is my bond. And so therefore, when we agreed to do something, it, it really behoves us as Christians to fulfill our promises. And so we prayed. And that's what you always do when you're in difficulty with the Almighty, we prayed. And on the Saturday before we were due to complete, on the Thursday, I had a phone call. A lovely lady had been to see us about two months earlier and she'd loved what we were doing. And she said, you know, I'm gonna to talk to my husband about this. And it was a husband who was phoning and I hadn't met him from Madam, so I didn't know him at all. And he said, my wife is really impressed by what you're doing. And he said, we've got our own business and uh, we've decided after this financial year is completed, we're going to look at our funds and we're going to see if we can lend you some money. So I said, oh, this is absolutely terrific. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, then he said at the end, he's, now he said, I've, I've got a bit of money slushing about in one of my business accounts. So do you need anything? I thought, I can't believe this man's asked us if we need anything. We need 50,000 pounds. I doubt whether he's got 50,000 in the bank, but he might have something. So I said, well, actually, we're desperately in need of 50,000 pounds. He said, 50,000 pounds, he said. That's no problem. Email me your details for your bank, and I'll fax it to you. Well, the money arrived on the Tuesday, and we paid the man on the Thursday. Did we rejoice? We rejoiced in God. He had fulfilled all the desires of our heart. We've still got the property today and it's doing so well. Bless God for his goodness.